This is a very quick video to show you how to print drafts from WordPress. So say that you're on our schedule and you're like, okay, on Wednesday, September 4th, oh my goodness, I have a complete draft of Rhetorical Analysis 1 brought as a printed copy. And you might say, I wonder if it really means a printed copy. I wonder if I can... No, if it says printed copy, I really do mean printed copy. I'm going to ask you to write on it. I'm going to ask other people to write on it. So say you're in WordPress and you're like, okay, I've got my draft of RA1. What, what am I supposed to do? Do I, do I just print it from this screen? what am I supposed to do? I think you have two big options. Option one, you know, if you have a draft, you can always click this preview button. Try that. If you click it, it will bring it up and it'll look like it's posted on your blog, but it's not actually posted on your blog. No one can see this but you. It's just a way to see what it looks like. But once you have this here and it looks kind of like it would normally look on your blog, you can print this screen and it'll look a lot better than if you print this screen. So option one is the preview button. Got it? Option two, of course, if you've been writing your draft here in WordPress, is you can just um, highlight all of this and copy and paste it into Word or somewhere else. Um, I often use Control A to um, select everything and then Control C to copy it, but you can also um, do collect. Bleh, you can also um, highlight it with your mouse, right click and copy, as some people do. Go into Word or somewhere else, right click and paste, or you can use Control V as in va va voom. Um, paste it in here and then print it from Word. Sometimes that works better. I know some of you prefer to um, write your essay in Word anyway and and um, then go back and paste it into WordPress before you before you post it. That's okay. Um, sometimes though that uh, will give you really funny line breaks if you, if you paste from Word um, into here. So if you do that, if you write it somewhere else and then paste it into WordPress before you post it, that's when the preview button is going to be really great. Go ahead and click preview and s make sure it looks the way you want it to look before you finally publish it. That'll make you look a little more professional. It'll help you out in terms of um, having the professional ethos that you want to send. Okay, I hope that helps. Two very quick, easy methods. See you later. Bye.